Today, we don't talk about flying transonically or even supersonically. We talk about flying hypersonically, not Mach 2 or Mach 3, Mach 20. At Mach 20, we can fly from New York to Long Beach in 11 minutes and 20 seconds. At that speed, the surface of the airfoil is the temperature of molten steel, 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit, like a blast furnace. We are essentially burning the airfoil as we fly it. And we are flying it, or trying to. DARPA's hypersonic test vehicle is the fastest maneuvering aircraft ever built. And while there's no substitute for speed, maneuverability is a very close second. If a Mach 20 glider takes 11 minutes and 20 seconds to get from New York to Long Beach, a hummingbird would take, well, days. You see, hummingbirds are not hypersonic, but they are maneuverable. In fact, the hummingbird is the only bird that can fly backwards. It can fly up. Down, forwards, backwards, even upside down. And so, if we wanted to fly in this room or places where humans can't go, we'd need an aircraft small enough and maneuverable enough to do so. This is a hummingbird drone. It can fly in all directions, even backwards. It can hover and rotate. This prototype aircraft. Is equipped with a video camera. It weighs less than one AA battery. It does not eat nectar. In 2008, it flew for a whopping 20 seconds. A year later, two minutes, then six, eventually 11. Many prototypes crashed. Many. But there's no way to learn to fly like a hummingbird. Unless you fly. <laughs> It's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. It's great. Matt is the first ever hummingbird pilot. <laughs> 